Yes, welcome to the Player Supreme Show, hosted by ZenMac.com. I am your host, Player Supreme. And a lot of people don't know what goes on within my forum, so I'm going to read to you just one of the field reports that shows the success of guys who are within my forum. This fellow wrote, had a great weekend. As I just got out of the five-year LTR, long-term relationship, I had talked to a female co-worker about where she goes out, good singles places, etc. She called me Saturday to go out. Great. Put on a nice shirt I had just bought, and for the first time ever, I decided to rock the second <laughs> button unbuttoned. <laughs> I decided on me to laugh. If you see the way I dress, you know, I'm buttoned all the way down, down to below my chest practically sometimes because I have big pecs so I can show them off. So uh, anyway, he writes, I previously regarded this as douchebag behavior, but now I see that communicating my sexuality to women in the club is exactly what I should be doing. It felt good. I felt powerful. Went out to the club. It was me, another guy, and three girls. They all like to dance. I hadn't danced in a club for about three years. I hit the floor with three girls, and they were all grinding up on me. This kind of surprised me. They are all quasi-dorky yet attractive doctors in their late twenties. I really didn't think they would get down like that. I used to not like dancing, but I had a blast. I think getting my right brain in gear has really increased my body awareness lately. Exercising, dancing, all just feels much different than it did when I was stuck in my left brain. Anyways, this cute Asian pharmacist from the hospital was there, who I suspected was into me previously. She asked me where my girlfriend was. I told her we broke up. Boom! She was all over me on the dance floor. Eventually, she pretty much attacked me with a big-ass kiss. Now, previously, I would have let this go, even though I hate kissing on the dance floor. My pimp brain was coming out. I pushed her off and said, slow down, baby. She looked all pouty, and I said, look, I just don't do that at the club. She said, I'm going to get a drink, kind of bitchy-like. I said, cool, get me a bourbon and water. <laughs> See, <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. When a guy discovers how much power he has in the game, I love that shit. She, anyway, he was saying, um, she looked annoyed, but came right back. Drinks in hand. Things kind of continued like this. I made sure not to pay her too much attention. Talked to some other girls at the bar. Probably did too much hoe chasing, but I'm still trying to tune in to who's choosing so that so that's something I'm working on fast forward to more dancing with the Asian girl she tries to suck my face again I stepped back and said don't do that again before I found the site there's no way I would have ever rebuffed an attractive female like that this she did her pouty routine again and went and found some random dude to grind on the whole time she was hanging on him, she was looking over at me. I, of course, I, looking at me, I, of course, I paid no attention. I think the high point of the night was after that when she gave me a come hither hand motion from across the floor. A bitch test, may I say. He writes, I didn't move an inch. I just made the same motion back, leaning back and looking right in her eyes. Damn, that's good. She kept at it, but I stayed where I was. Guess what? After about five seconds of this, here she comes. She says, you're an asshole, but you're hot. Several nearby females saw this go down, and they were all choosing me after that. It was fucking awesome. After that, it was pretty much just working out the logistics to get her back to get back to her place. Then he goes on to talk about the sex, fellas, and stuff like that. He finished up, uh, I won't read that here, but uh, he finished up by saying, and I quote, After reading this stuff on the forum and hearing Supreme say it in the podcast, 
It's great to see that I can put it into practice in my own life. Just wanted to share my positive experiences with you guys. Thanks, Supreme. And this is a example of what the fellows are learning from within my site. Basically, it's how to be a man and handle your business like a real man instead of a simp. Oh.